Hi, welcome to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. I'm Anita. Today I am sewing these adorable little coin pouches. And these are a great way to use up all kinds of scraps, like the outer fabric from sewing larger bags, the um, little off cuts, the corner cuts that you take out for larger bags of cork, and the lining fabric, also scrap, and the interfacing is also scrap. This whole pouch is made out of scraps from larger bags, except for the zipper. The zipper's new, but that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need four and a half by five and a half inch rectangles, two of the outer fabric, two of the lining fabric, four two and a half inch cork squares, and one zipper, and then also four and a half by five and a half um, shape flex interfacing to iron on to the uh, outer fabrics on the back. So these are the little pouches. I'll bring them a little closer. And they are all made with scraps from other larger bag projects. And this is a great way to use up scraps. And also these are great to have as small little items in your shop or even as gifts for your friends and family. They are great stocking stuffers at Christmas. You can put gift cards in them for birthdays and stuff. And um, I'm going to have them at my show this weekend in Sherwood Park. Um, these are great little inexpensive items to have on your craft table. If they've gone through the whole show already and they've spent all their money, but they have $20 left, $20 Canadian, um, <laughs> this is what they can buy from your table and they can still get something from you. So, uh, Let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna cut your outer fabrics four and a half inches tall by five and a half inches wide. And then you're gonna have, hopefully just off cuts, but if you, or even if you have a longer scrap of cork, you cut out four two and a half inch squares, okay? Then we're gonna put the squares in each bottom corner of the pouch. I have this one cut out with gold because there's gold in the fabric. Okay, we're going to sew on the diagonal. Let me make sure you can see this. Sorry, I moved this up. So the squares are in the bottom corners of the pouch. We're going to sew on the diagonal on each square and then cut a quarter inch from the seam. So it's going to be like this when it's finished. So we sew on the diagonal, we trim a quarter inch from the seam, and then we flip the cork out. So it's gonna be like this when it's finished, after we trim off this excess corner. We flip the cork out, and then we top stitch right along here to hold the cork down and also like keep the seam allowance. And I have, oh, and before I did all that, I ironed interfacing onto the backs so that uh, the bag has some strength and stability. So there's interfacing, iron on the back, cork corners sewn on the two bottom corners. And then we trimmed a quarter inch from the seam and flipped the cork out and then top stitched uh, like an eighth of an inch from the edge of the fabric. So now we are ready to put our zipper and lining into the pouch. So the lining is not interfaced. If you actually have enough interfacing scraps to interface the lining and you want to, you can certainly do that. Um, mine is, I feel that they're fine with just the outer. And this is also a canvas linen, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, I'm fine with just the outer being interfaced. So we're gonna take whichever one you want to be the front of the pouch. We're gonna put the zipper face down with the zipper pull on the left. And clip that in place with Wonder Clips. Then we're gonna take a lining piece. So the lining is gonna go face down so the right side of the lining is against the wrong side of the zipper. Okay, and I have my zipper 
being longer than my fabric so the ends are just hanging off so I'm not worrying about these metal stops they're gonna get trimmed off and I'm not gonna risk hitting them with my needle I think this is a seven or eight inch zipper okay so I'm gonna sew that with my presser foot against the edge of the nylon zipper it's about an eighth of an inch seam allowance For some machines, you might need to use a zipper foot to do that, but with my regular foot, it works. So now I'm just going to finger press the lining away from the zipper and then finger press the outer fabric away from the zipper. So now the lining and the outer are wrong sides together. And I'm just going to top stitch with an eighth of an inch seam and just sort of tug on the fabrics and the zipper just to make sure they're pulled apart so you don't get a fold on the back. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other half. So I'm taking the next outer piece, I'm going to trim that thread. I'm going to take the next outer piece and put it right sides together with the zipper. and clip along the top. So it's right sides together with the zipper and the previous outer piece. Then I'm gonna flip it over and put the lining, right side of the lining to the wrong side of the zipper. And our lining fabrics are right sides together. Okay, and then I'm gonna sew with an eighth of an inch seam. And finger press my fabrics away from the zipper. So now we have lining and outer wrong sides together and I'm going to top stitch along the top with an eighth of an inch seam from the edge of the fabric and just pull on the fabrics and the zipper just to make sure that's lying nice and flat. Okay, so there we go. The zipper is in. I'm just going to trim these threads so they don't get caught in the zipper. Now I'm going to just push the pull back so it's in the pouch and I'm going to stitch across the zipper a couple times just to hold that zipper even and closed. And now I'm just going to trim right next to that stitch line, take off the excess zipper. Same with the other side. Okay. Now we're gonna keep our zipper sort of in the middle, away from the edges. We're gonna put our outer fabrics right sides together and line up with the seams of our little cork corners. So it looks all nice when it gets turned right side out. So we're going to just clip all of this together and we're going to just push the zipper towards the lining so it's sort of folded in half on itself. I don't know if you can see but it's folded in half inside the lining and then we'll just keep clipping. Now we're gonna leave an opening in the bottom of the lining for turning the pouch right side out. So I'm just gonna turn around and pin the other side or clip the other side. Same thing, the zipper is folded on itself and it's in the lining. And match up your cork corner seams along the side of the pouch and the bottom as best you can. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do a little like one inch here and one inch here and leave the rest of the bottom of the lining open and this is with a quarter inch seam
And at the corner here, I'm just gonna leave the needle down, lift the presser foot and pivot the pouch. And sew up the side. And we're just gonna sew right through that zipper. And then all the way around. Pivoting at the corners. right through the zipper again and back stitch at the end and just clip the threads now I'm going to just clip away the corners so that they are not all bulky and we can get the corners as nicely pushed out as we can it's a little tricky with the cork but Okay, so corners are trimmed off. And now we're just gonna turn this right side out through the zipper. And just poke those corners, but be careful because it's cork and you don't want it to get to cracking too much or damaging the color. There's going to be a little bit of that. That's just how it is with cork, but just gently push out your corners with your fingertip, or you could use a chopstick and same with the lining corners. And I'm just going to get that zipper opened a little bit further. Okay. Push out the lining corners. Now we're going to just put our fingers inside this opening and tug on it to get those raw edges to pop to the inside. Then just finger press. And then we'll just stitch that little opening closed. And then we'll just push the lining into the pouch and make sure it gets really pushed into the bottom corners. And there we go. It's done. Fun and quick little project and a great way to use up scraps and keep them out of the landfill. Thanks for sewing along with me today. I hope you had fun making these cute little coin pouches. Let me know how you do if you're selling them at a craft show or if you're using them for birthday gifts, leave me a comment and let me know what you're doing with these little pouches. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.